Hey guys, Vlad here with AVT Astro. So I don't know of a more exciting way to start a new year than picking up your very first Astrophysics Refractor. Um, I've had a number of you know pretty premium APOs including a Tech 140, I currently have an FSQ 106, uh, I've got a TV 85, and you know I've had a number of other you know like pretty decent APOs. Uh, I think it's no secret that Astrophysics is kind of like the king of the hill. I've always wanted one of these. As luck would have it, I totally lucked out. I uh, picked this thing up actually locally from a local, uh, you know, fellow uh, astronomer. So yeah, waiting for. Uh, it's actually a clear night too. I just picked this thing up yesterday. It's a clear night. Amazing. Uh, waiting to try it out. So uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys in a little bit, and we'll see how this thing does. All right, all right, guys. So it's finally dark, and uh, um, yeah, I'm kind of ready to take my first look. Unfortunately, the conditions kind of worsened, and you kind of see the moon out there. Uh, it's pretty, pretty foggy right now and hazy, but uh, you can still see. Uh, I don't know if you can see Orion out there. Yeah, that's Orion there. Um, so some of the you know the brighter stars are still visible, and so yeah, kind of getting ready to take my first look. So I'm using the batter zoom, my favorite eyepiece. <laughs> um, just, you know, just kind of take a quick look tonight. I mean, I'm really not going to get any serious observing done, but I just wanted to kind of give my first impressions uh, since I already have the scope set up and stuff, even in these unideal conditions. And, um, yeah, I mean, um, just overall, I'm just kind of looking just at, you know, at a star field and, you know, you might, you know, you might ask yourself, well, what can you tell from just looking for at a bunch of random stars? Um, just right off the bat, the first thing that I could, you know, like see uh, from, you know, just taking my first look through the scope is that the stars are just very, very fine pinpoints of light. Essentially, um, the better corrected a telescope is. Uh, you know, more vaguely, the better the optics are on it, uh, the more of the light that the telescope gathers is going to be in that central pinpoint, uh, you know, like when you're looking at a star, uh, and it's not going to be in the outside of the, diff diff in the little diffraction rings that you see. Um, and, you know, you, you can see that visually pretty easily, especially on brighter stars, so yeah. Um, just right away I could tell that the optics are very sharp on this thing. So that's kind of my very first impression. Um, the moon is out there. It's kind of low on the horizon right now, but I'm going to take a look. Um, so yeah, let me point the telescope at that and we'll kind of uh, see what I think about that. Astrophysics 130 pointed at the moon. Um, probably the eyepiece projection on this real quick I mean the moon as you can see it's like really close to the horizons and plus the, you know not real ideal conditions but well, let's take a look there she is um, Yeah, it's uh, with the camera, it's kind of getting overexposed. And this is uh, just with the batter zoom at the 24 millimeter setting at the lowest setting, base close power setting. I don't know what that gives you power wise uh, with the zoom, with the scope. Probably like 50x or even less than that, maybe. Um, so, yeah. All right, so the other way that you could kind of tell how good the optics are in the scope is. Um, by doing a star test, uh, it's kind of a deep subject, maybe eventually I'll make a video on that, but um, really I'm not an expert in it anyway, but um, essentially if you're curious just look it up, you're essentially looking at a defocused star to kind of judge to see if there's any abnormalities in it. Um, and um, a perfect telescope should actually, like when you defocus the star on one side of focus and another side of focus, uh, the diffraction pattern should look exactly the same. It should just be basically a bunch of concentric rings kind of going out of it. And, um, you know, quite frankly, um, I've had, a, you know, like I said, a, you know, some premium IPOs, including a Tech 140. 
Um, this has the best star pattern uh, or star test, just you know, just from like you know my initial impressions. I mean, uh, it almost looks identical on both sides of focus, so that's really cool. Um, I haven't really pushed the magnification a lot, so this is just on a random bright star, and. <laughs> I don't know if you guys uh, can notice, so I actually do not have a finder scope on this thing, so I can't really point it at, like, you know, whatever I actually want to kind of see. I'm just kind of, you know, scanning the sky around. Um, typically what I do in a pinch is I'll actually just double side tape, you know, like a red dot finder on this. But since I already had this set up, I have dew on it, and the double side tape just will not stick to this, so... Um, you know, for tonight, I'm kind of, you know, kind of SOL. But actually, let me see if we could kind of see the diffraction pattern through the eyepiece never really tried this so i'm not sure if it's gonna work let's see okay yeah so there it is um yeah you could kind of see the donut pattern i mean it's uh let me switch to my like most zoomed in camera there okay here we go yeah, so, so basically that's what it looks like, um, and, uh, you know, I'm just hand-holding my cell phone to this, so, um, well, actually, heck, let me, let me try to put the lens kind of right on the eyepiece and actually try to go from one side of focus to the other. Um, okay, so that's one side of focus, so we're going into focus basically a perfectly focused star you know somewhere around there and i move the camera so this is the other side of focus see if i could get it there we go so other side of focus um yeah um I mean, first impressions on this thing, you know, I'll, I'll obviously, I'll make a full review of this eventually when I use it, you know, for a while. Uh, but, I mean, their focuser is actually very nice. This is a feather touch, essentially, like, mechanics that they use. They make the focuser themselves. Uh, the tape is powder-coated, awesome finish on that. This thing is actually air, airline portable. So you could actually take off the focuser, like this, you know, thing and screws take off the focus you can actually take off the front lens assembly here too so it becomes really compact if you do all that um yeah i mean there's there's the business end of the optics there all right so it's later on in the evening i had a chance to do a little bit more observing with this guy um actually i've got a point that i am 42 right now and uh, the nebula looks pretty good, I mean, even though it's kind of hazy, but um, actually what's actually kind of incredible is so I've got the better zoom with no uh, barlow or anything like that. Uh, at the 8mm center, which actually produces 102x with the scope. And I was just uh, able to see six stars in the trapezium in M42. Pretty freaking amazing, I mean, I'm pretty stoked. Uh, you know, I mean, obviously, I've seen this, you know, like, six stars there, but, you know, considering that tonight the scene's not really good, uh, you know, it's pretty hazy, um, you know, it's obviously really doing, <laughs> my scope is all wet already, um, yeah, I mean, it's just, you know, clear as daylight, they, you know, there they are, just a hundred X, you know, um, I wish I could do, like, a live view of this, but I think it's, like, way, way too dim, just... Just in case I could catch it, let me, let me try for a sec. Yeah, it's probably a little, probably a little too, uh, too dumb. So anyhow, um, first impressions, I'm totally stoked with the scope. Um, I mean, I, like I said, I've been dreaming about one of these forever. I uh, finally got one. Um, once I get, you know, some more use out of it, I'll definitely, you know, put together a review of it. Probably on my blog, maybe I'll even make a video about it. Um, and you, you'll probably see this thing in future videos. I'm, I'm pretty stoked about this thing. So anyhow, yeah, thanks for watching the video. Um, if you guys liked the video, uh, you know, do the like button. And, you know, if you're not subscribed yet, do consider subscribing. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.